Hi, it's Tristan. In this video, we're taking a look at the Audio Engine A2 desktop computer speakers. As you see here, this is the top down view. And I gotta say right off the bat, as someone who has tried a couple different 2.1 computer speaker systems, such as ones from Logitech as well as ones from Klipsch, uh, these really do sound quite good and I do recommend them, even though they might be a little bit more expensive than uh, some other computer speakers that you can buy. These speakers offer a lot of versatility and give you a lot of inputs, so you can even plug an iPod or iPhone directly into them without a computer to use in a bedroom situation or whatever, um, so that you can have like basically a stereo system um, in any room of your house. Audio Engine also has optional wireless capabilities as well, so you can actually stream music uh, to their speaker systems as well. They come pretty well packaged. Um, each speaker comes in a nice cloth like this. They also come with all the wires that you would need, including uh, you know speaker wire, um, you know mini cables, as well as the uh, power supply, and then a pretty nice setup guide as well, which is uh, quite informative and pretty easy to uh, understand. The construction of these is quite nice. They feel pretty solid. Um, the drivers are made out of Kevlar, so they're not paper. And one of the things that I really appreciate about these most is just the versatility of them. As you can see, you've got a lot of different inputs here. Um, you can plug directly from your computer into these speakers, or if you have an external DAC, you can plug into them that way. Um, as I mentioned, you can plug your iPhone or iPod directly into them, and they're quite easy to set up. The way that these work is the power supply and amplifier is built into the left speaker, this speaker right here, and then you've got your uh, volume control and on off switch right here. And then you just go out to the right speaker using speaker cable that's included from this speaker to the right speaker. And so it's a good design yeah. and it's quite easy to set up. No, now I've got these on optional audio engine stands here, which I sort of recommend if you're using them um, on your computer because as you can see it angles them up a little bit towards your ear and will provide for a better sound. However, if you're just planning to use these on a shelf or something, you probably don't need the stands because the bottom does have some foam padding right here. So these can just, the speakers can just sit directly on the table or shelf as well. In terms of the sound of these speakers, they sound quite good. However, being that the mid-range driver is only like two and a half inches in diameter, you really aren't going to get, you know, huge impactful bass out of such small drivers. So I do recommend you use these as satellite speakers and you pair them with the optional uh, Audio Engine S8 subwoofer. When you do that, you will get a full range sound that really rocks. However, if you can afford to do so and you have the space, uh, you really might consider the larger Audio Engine speakers, the A5 Pluses, which I will be reviewing in another video. If you have the desktop space, the A5 Pluses are certainly better speakers and more full range and you know louder and um, you know just better speakers all around. Just however, they're also over twice as large and also very heavy speakers compared to these uh, A2 speakers. So, if you're pressed for space and just want something relatively small, I think the Audio Engine A2 speakers are uh, really a good buy and uh, something that I would recommend. Again, I've tried several different computer speakers, and so far, for ones of these size, uh, I think these sound the best, especially if you pair them with a subwoofer. Without a subwoofer, the sound is going to be a bit lean, because again, the bass out of these speakers can't really be that high, given that the drivers are relatively small. But the mids and highs sound quite smooth and quite good, and I really don't have any complaints with these speakers uh, whatsoever. But do stay tuned and subscribe on my channel because I will be reviewing the Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers, which are like the big brother to these. So this has been my look at the Audio Engine A2 desktop and computer speakers. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And as always, I will see you in my next video.